Hey there, it is monstrously, horrendously sunny outside and far too warm. And so I've decided to do what everyone should do when it's sunny and stay indoors and work at computers. So I'm recording a quick lesson today on open chord shortcuts. So ways to more easily change from one open chord to another open chord. Um, if you've been playing a while, you probably already do most of these things. It's pretty simple. Uh, the idea is if we've got, say, an A minor chord, we can change to a C chord by only moving one finger instead of lifting them all up and then trying to rearrange them in order. So some general chords for change, general tips for changing chords. Uh, you want to move your fingers as little as possible. If you don't lift them too high, you don't have to put them down from a great distance, which means you're more likely to miss. So small, neat movements, moving as little as possible and not pressing too hard and pressing with the tips of the fingers will help greatly. Okay, um, now onto these chord shortcuts. I hope to arrange them all in a big uh, kind of grid now, here over here, which should show you all the different changes that I'm going to discuss, and you can just click on them and it will fast forward you to that part of this lesson, uh, because there's probably only a few chord changes that are difficult for you at the minute. Anyway, so click away, or just continue watching. Uh, nice and painless and short lesson now. Okay, so starting with C. Uh, the first one, the most obvious one is, if you play C, and you're switching to A minor, you don't have to lift your first and second fingers at all. Your third finger moves in underneath your middle finger, and you're playing A minor. Next one is A. If we move from A to G, If we look at our ring finger, it slides up one fret and the other fingers slot into place. So again, from A, the ring finger slides up a fret and the other ones come into place. Okay, from A to E, A moving to E. The second and third fingers go down a string and the first finger goes up one string and to the first fret. From A to D. A, ring finger slides up one fret, and then the other two fingers come down. So A, slide up ring finger, D. Okay, from A to E minor, nice easy one. A, ring finger comes off, other two fingers move down one string. So very quickly again, A, ring finger off, other two fingers down a string, to E minor. From A to D minor, ring finger moves up, other two fingers slot into place. From G, to D, our ring finger can stay in place, and also from G to D minor, which isn't so common a chord change, but it still works. G, ring finger stays down, to D minor, or D. Okay, from G to E minor. Our first finger stays in place, and our second finger moves in underneath the first finger. From E to A minor, all the fingers stay in the same shape and move up one string. E, A minor. From E to D. E, other two fingers come off, first finger slides up one fret, and we have D. Again, E, first finger slides up, D. Okay, on to A minor. From A minor to E minor, the second finger can stay in place, and the first finger moves in to the A string. So again, slowly, A minor, first finger moves, second finger stays down. Okay, from A minor to D minor, our last one, you stay in the same shape, 
move up one string and the ring finger moves up one fret. So again, A minor, all up, ring finger out one fret. Okay, so that was it then, very quick, very painless.